Um, could I welcome Linda and Derek from the Mount Pleasant Community Centre? to have coffee now. Okay. We can afford to have coffee now. <laughs> How are you feeling, Derek? That's <laughs> all it counts. Hey, um, can we have the clock on, please? Thank you. Just start whenever you're ready. <laughs> Waiting for those noisy summer people to come. Yeah. <laughs> Once the roof rack has gone, we'll start. <laughs> okay, and now we move to Mount Pleasant. Derek and Linda, we're in your hands. Yeah. Kia ora, and thank you for listening to us this morning. We're here to talk to you about the rebuilding of the Mount Pleasant Community Centre. I suppose I need to... No, it's not up there. There we go, thank you. Uh, the rebuilding of the Mount Pleasant Community War Memorial Centre, that's an important aspect of it, the War Memorial Park. Uh, we're here for um, two reasons. One is to update you on the progress that we have made in reinstating the community hall, and also to bring to your attention uh, some of the issues that we're facing that we think you may be able to help us uh, resolve. Just a quick recap for those of you that aren't in our ward and don't know our centre. It was built in 1954, opened by the Mayor of Christchurch, um, and established with uh, central government funding and community fundraising. Uh, the council's contribution was the land, the landscaping, and the car parking, and that's important when we get to the last frame when we're asking for support. And we believe it's one of only two centres in Christchurch which is owned and managed by the community itself, the other one being Huntsbury. So this is the old facility, it's standard community hall, um, lounges, kitchens, we had a pottery centre, outdoor barbecues, the, the standard um, community centre. It's the only one in the neighbourhood, it's the only community facility we have in Mount Pleasant. Unfortunately, um, our insurance wasn't what we expected. We thought we were, um, by reading our lease with the council, I had full replacement value, but it was only in at um, indemnity value, so that resulted in our insurance being approximately half the replacement value. However, we have managed to um, fundraise and get it up to a figure that we are confident we can um, build with because our architects and contractors and, and the community uh, committee are looking and stripping it down to get it into that budget. So here's where we are, that's the new community centre and after two years we've got completed detailed design and we have selected our main contractor which is Lee's Construction and we're very happy with that choice and we're in the process of getting resource consent which is proving um, quite an onerous task. Um, <coughs> So this is the new centre. We've made the building smaller to, um, for budget considerations. So this footprint is at 700, uh, sorry, 592, but we, we get better utilisation of the building by having a mezzanine floor. And once again, we have the same facilities as the old one, um, pretty much uh, the shared art space and craft space is where we're proposing pottery may come if they can't find alternative uh, places. So I'll run you through the building, a quick whiz through. This is the interior of the atrium, the community space looking north, and you'll notice the um, construction is interesting. We've gone cutting edge construction with uh, LVL beams, and it's not only the skin and the surface, but it's the um, structural elements of the building as well. So this has allowed us to cut down on budget as well as um, bring things into a time frame. We're looking currently at October next year as completion date. Um, that's what our hall will look like, uh, looking out towards the estuary. Once again, a pretty nice looking um, atrium. The community 
centre part of it. And this is the recreation studio upstairs with a beautiful view of, um, as you can see, of the estuary, which uh, hasn't always happened. So now we get to the issues, is that our insurance cover was only for the building and did not extend to the landscaping or car parks because they were under council insurance. However, our resource consent requires us to submit a landscaping plan, even though we don't own the land. And so as a result, we have engaged local landscape architect firm Camo Marsh, and they've come up with a very exciting landscape plan. Um, you'll notice that at the top, there are uh, connections to the coastal pathway and uh, that aspect of it. And at the bottom, it retains its connections to the um, Soleri's Avenue Shops, which is the only little shopping centre in our ward. And for the first time, the centre will be open to the estuary to be able to see and, and take advantage of what a magnificent site it's on. This, uh, our landscape plan, pretty much reflects the council's own main road master plan for the area, which is for a community centre with car parks and landscaping. So we're mirroring and reflecting what is in the council's plans already. One of the issues we've come up with is the fact that we've had to raise the building one metre to counter the projected sea level rise. Um, this will be in the uh, building plan um, code coming up, but we're being proactive and doing it immediately because we plan for this building to be here for a long time. And, but this has had <coughs> excuse me, uh, quite an impact on both the landscaping and the cost. Um, yeah, so the, um, oh, let me go back. The, you can see there between the squash club building, which is the grey building on the right, there's a metre drop down to there, so there are issues around drainage and various bits. So here's where we're at at the moment. We're, uh, we're a volunteer group, and we've spent uh, pretty much two years working on this. 1,500 volunteer hours we've worked out, or thereabouts, um, so that we can get what we think is a very attractive building um, that will be there for future generations to employ, uh, to enjoy. Um, so far, there is not a penny of ratepayer or council money in this budget. We've managed to do it all uh, independently of that. And in fact, it's the other way around. In our budget, there's something like $35,000 of consent fees that go from us to the council. So we're currently contributing to your um, budget rather than the other way around. Uh, we don't have insurance and never have had for the landscaping or the car parking because it was on council ground and that was covered by their insurance. Uh, the budget estimate for this work is, um, as you can see, 433000 That's an inclusive figure. Um, and we're pretty much ready to go. As I said, we've selected the contractor. We're in the process of getting our consents in order. Um, so we think that we have for the council a win-win situation. That if you can find it in your budget somewhere, through your historical obligations to provide the landscaping and the car parking, then we can deliver basically a $3 million community centre, the only one in, um, in the neighbourhood. And if we can get it up and running, it'll be the only one for some time until the others come into play. So we think this is, um, as I said, a win-win situation. And also that the build, if anything happens to our organisation, the building gets um, goes back to the council. So it, in a sense, you've got a, um, a, a, a hand in it already. And just a, a reminder that our ward was extremely heavily hit. We had an enormous loss of housing stock and just living there over at the moment with the narrow winding roads that go up the, the hill and the amount of rebuild, demolition, repair and subbies vans and concrete trucks and pumps because you have to get concrete a long way from the road often um, makes it quite a difficult place to, to live in. We've got road closures. We've had Soleri's Ave closed for two years and Mount Pleasant Road closes on Monday next. So this, I think, if the council could find it in their hearts and in their budgets to support us with the landscaping, there would be um, an enormous payback for the community and it would be a sign of hope in our region. So thank you very much for listening to us.
and the clock went off, so I didn't see it. <laughs> Thank you, Derek, for an excellent presentation. Um, so all the hands are now up. Um, so, OK, <laughs> we're going quickly, Tim. Thank you. I know the venue very well. My mother's a life member of the Mount Pleasant Potters, and I used to get dragged along there. I've also been there for Kids Fest events, so not only is it for the, the, those established local yeah, come communities, Come to the question, Tim, because there's a whole pile of people. I, um, <laughs> have, what, what's the feedback from council staff with regards to the design, with your, your landscaping design and car park design? The, the landscaping design hasn't yet gone into council. Okay, they so requested yeah. further information, and so we've um, had to go and build get the landscaping design done okay. to progress the resource consent. Okay, thank you. Pauline. Oh, thank you. Um, I just, that was my question. Have you have lodged resource consent? We've lodged, yes. but we've had a, a huge amount of questions. <laughs> okay, and landscaping is just one of them. Yes. And the other ones, are you able to answer those as well? Well, we actually think we're being put right through the pump, really. Quite, quite onor onerous questioning, but we are working through that with you know, our advisors. Is it a public notified um, no. consent? Oh, uh, we hope not. No. Because we um, want this building up. So what I'm trying to get at is the time frame for this now, so you've got your other questions to answer as well? Well, what we're you? hoping, that we're told that the contract will have it up by October of next year, but we, that's, we think that's conservative. We think it will be earlier than that. We're hoping okay. it will be. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a timeline on the um, landscaping part of it. Jess? Have you got a relationship manager with the resource consent people? Not a relationship manager. No, You've got somebody you're working closely with? A planner, Louise. We're, we're, we're working through the planner, Louise Armstrong. Right, OK. OK, thank you, Glenn, really quickly. OK, thanks, Linda and Derek. What's your indicative landscape figure? I was up there, I was 400. 400. Yeah. 433,000. 433 inclusive. Mm. Yep. yep, Jimmy? Yeah. Very quickly. Uh, 433, the K, is for landscape and car parking. Yeah. Uh, but you request council when the funding, how much for you? Can you confirm with that? You mentioned earlier it's a 35k. Uh, oh, that's that's just what we've spent with the council on resource consent. Oh. We, in, in additional fundraising, community fundraising will be used to look at fit out, which is not in the original building budget, but obviously we'll need yeah. fit out. So that's what the community fundraising campaign, which will go in about September, will be for. For example, the building will be established probably without a fitted out kitchen, but yep. we're happy, we're, we'll work with that, we'll fundraise and we'll get the kitchen fitted yep. at a later date. Yeah, with local fundraising. Mm. So bring we would through. actually think it would be a real achievement if we could get this up without any council funding into the building. We think that's what we're aiming for, is to do all our own fundraising, but we would like some support for the ancillary parts that the, you know, it's not giving it to us, it's your own land. It's a reserve, it's used by the whole community, and we think that would be a wonderful wonderful support for us. And it's actually part of the master plan, and it fits with the coastal pathway because the, the centre is part of a node of interest on the coastal pathway. So. Okay, Peter Gudsell has a question. I'm not sure if I should let him ask it. What do you reckon? It's, it's not a question, <laughs> ma'am, it's just a point of clarification, um, and I'll, I'll take it up as well. Uh, we do actually have full replacement cover uh, for the facilities with full um, sum insured limit, like the rest of our assets. And the, the car park and landscaping is covered under the insurance sum insured as it is an ancillary asset to the building. So I'll just um, pass the ah, card over okay. so we can discuss that later. See, that's nice, isn't it? But did it fall for the building, did you say? Um, well, yeah, yeah, we'll right. get in touch. <laughs> special <laughs> action, <laughs> special, <laughs> special pass to our insurance. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Known as a hospital no, was, pass, I believe. Was, no, I think that was a very nice pass. Oh, okay. Not, not very many delegations get that card. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Peter. Um, th these people need such a high level of congratulations. I agree completely. For everything you're doing, and it's and for the time that you're doing it in, you've got going, you've got off your bum, and you're getting this done. And I just think it's absolutely incredible. And I love the design, and I love what you're doing where it is, and it's just brilliant. It's amazing. And the question is, could you be any better? That was the question. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, did you want one? Um, just briefly, like it's a War Memorial Park. Was that for World War Two or World War One? World War One. A uh, two, two, sorry. Two. World War Two. Okay. Does that does, does that have um, meaning? You think for some of the older local people, or is is that sort of part Defin of? Is that definitely. an important aspect of? Yeah, of after, the after the war, um, they the community could decide whether they wanted just a monument or whether they wanted a living memorial, and so they chose to have a living memorial. 
And um, there's people still today that were at the opening of that building, and they're waiting and waiting to see the building come back. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be lovely to have these 90-year-old people come back. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed for an amazing um, deputation and for all the work that sat behind that deputation. And you can feel, obviously, uh, you can feel the love around the country. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, we'll, so you've got our hearts. <laughs> the second right. part that you asked for was the budget, and obviously that's been dealt with and public excluded today. Yep. But there will be some announcements about that within a short time frame. Like, Less Thank you very much. Less than two possible. weeks. Great. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs>